Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to use a curling iron to get big beach waves for short to medium length hair. This is an easy and perfect everyday hairstyle using a flat iron and a curling iron. I'm Rita Almusa, master esthetician and beauty expert, and after years of experience, I've finally found the best hair products to stop humidity, frizzy hair, and keep your hair thick, healthy, and protected from heat damage. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found it helpful. Okay, so here's the thing. I have really curly, naturally curly hair. So I take about five different products and I mix them together in my hand and distribute them through my wet hair before I start to blow dry. I'm gonna link all of these products below in the description for you so that you can achieve this look as well. But these products have really helped me get rid of frizz, protect my hair from damage, and also keep the hairstyle to last for days. After I have distributed the product through my hair evenly, I take the mint pear detangling brush to do a final comb through to make sure that I don't have any snarls and to make sure that the product is evenly distributed. I then divide my hair into halves and put the top half up. As you can see, I'm keeping the hair dryer pointing in a downward position. This will help to close the follicle of the hair, which will help to create shine and also allow a more controlled blowout. until the top portion of my hair is about half dry and then I switch to a round brush. To and then I take one to two inch sections and I will complete the drying with a round brush. This will help to create volume and give my roots a lift and also to help seal the cuticle of the hair so that it doesn't have frizz. By sectioning the hair, it gives you more control over which direction you're blow drying your hair, which is easier when you're trying to style or create a certain part. Again blowing back the front section for volume in the front. And now that we're completely dry, let's move on to the flat iron. I again will section my hair into halves. And then I will take one to two inch pieces and curve the flat iron down and curved in so I get an inward curl at the very bottom. the top section I like to create volume so I will go up and then down and under for the end. I have found that this gives a little bit of a boost on the top portion of my hair. If you 
you do not have naturally curly hair, you may be able to skip this step, but this is for all of our naturally curly haired friends that have to straighten our hair in order to get those big, beautiful, sexy waves. And now on to the curling. I again will part my hair into halves and I'm using the Chi Volumizing Hairspray and I'm using the Hot Tools one half curling iron and as you can see I'm curling away from my face and I'm also not clamping and I'm not curling the end. I count to about 30 seconds for each curl. So separate spray with a little bit of hairspray and curl around the wand while keeping the clamp open. When I release the curl, I use my finger to help to continue the curl, as you can see, so that it will dry in a more tighter curl. And I continue this for the remaining portion of the bottom of my hair. Again, holding each curl for about 30 seconds. Depending on how hot your curling iron is, this one gets pretty hot. So it's always good to test and make sure that you're not burning or damaging your hair. Again, continuing to curl away from my face and the reason why I don't clamp down with the curling iron is because this gives that beach beautiful natural soft feel versus a really tight glamorous hard curl when you clamp down the curling iron. There should be enough hairspray that your curl will hold its curl while you finish the rest of your hair. Now for the top back layer for the curls, I do a horizontal curl which allows a nice even lift it's like a voluptuous wave that will help boost that back part of my hair versus a vertical type of curl it gives a more solid full looking lift in the back Remember that as the hairstyle falls throughout the day, the curls and the waves will get bigger. So don't be concerned that these curls look very tight or small because they will loosen up and they will become bigger waves as the day goes on. You don't want your sections to be too big or your hair will just go flat and it will not hold the curl. Once we finished all the curls, we will spray with a final spray and wait about 10 minutes to brush out and finger comb through the waves. And that is how you create easy, soft, beautiful big waves. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do have any questions, be sure to leave your comments below and I will see you in my next video. Have a beautiful day.